Hi, I'm Alaire Bergman, and I'm an autistic kid. And I've um, come a long way since um, when I was a baby. I didn't talk, I didn't crawl, any of that. But I'm still fine. We've done lots of treatments. And the best one, which is in my book, you can get it for 15 bucks, is <laughs> um, chickens. Like, here's me with one of my roosters, and here's me with my Millie Fleurs. Um, therapy animals. Most people think of dogs. Well, a therapy animal can be anything, and for me it's the chickens. And my best friend Goldie. Goldie was my first friend and got me into the social world. It is because at first I made connections with the chickens, and a lot of the people at the county fair had that same connection, so I started to connect with actual people. And now I'm connecting with a whole bunch of people. And this is my success story, is we focus a lot on the success as well as the treatment and the problems, because the diagnosis was just the first step. And then there's success. Every little milestone should be appreciated with gratitude, because it's very important to just focus on the abundance that you have. And not always seeing that mountain of things to do every day. And I think that that's really special. And another thing is, in the eyes of an autistic individual, yes, there's the challenges, the pain of itchy sweaters, the frustration with the climates and um, social function disorders and such. But did you know that there's a paper airplane up there? <laughs> yeah. I. T pay attention to those details. <laughs> so you, I don't, but I can never find my sneakers in the morning. So yes, there's those challenges and then there's the gifts and just finding those gifts and what those kids can do. Because your kids may be here, you're here now, but when they're here, what are they gonna do? Plan ahead, just like, I, I have some plans ahead of me. I've got a whole bunch of job opportunities, but also that is also just all that. And, uh, okay, mom, I'll, I'll bring my mom up for a prompt. Okay. This is my mom, and she's the one that has brought me this far. And she's the one that never stopped trying. So you can see I'm really proud of this young lady. And when she met Temple Grandin and gave her a project book through 4-H, Temple said, get it published and I will endorse it. And we thought, okay, and she was serious. And Temple taught us to focus on what are you gonna do to have this kid working? because Social Security is not an option. And so Alaire is looking at opportunities where she can do costuming, she can do art, she can write, she can speak, and um, she has come a long way. We still... <laughs> we still have our dark days, but this is the key. Yes. We don't stay in the dark. We yes. get up, and we move to the light, and she's mm -hmm. doing it. And still today, there are struggles. I will not deny, it is hard being an autistic individual. It, some days, I just want to give up everything, but you just gotta keep going, because there, when things are going wrong, think it, here's an analogy that I saw, is when, in archery, you have to pull the arrow backward to put, to push it forward is an analogy that I really like to see when I'm feeling glum is that I'm going to shoot forward in another great discovery or breakthrough or inspiration or something. And yeah. yep. So thank you very much. And our goal is to eventually have a forever farm. We've been on several rental farms. We've had to move twice this year with um, my surgery yep. in between. So her goal is to be able to have a place where she can help others 
yep. get the same miracle that she's had in her life. Whether it's a therapy studio or a therapy farm, but I want to help others as well. 